Thanks for tuning into the Boston Roll channel. Liking the video and subscribing to the channel are free and easy for you, and they help me out a lot. If you want to go further with your support, Patreon and YouTube membership offer access to the Boston Roll Discord community, early access to lists, written content, things like that. You can have me play your deck on the channel, and the highest tiers come with individual coaching sessions. If you use YouTube membership, you also get sweet badges and emotes integrated here into YouTube. You can support the channel while you shop at tcgplayer.com by using my affiliate link in the video description. And you can play any deck anytime by using a cardhoarder.com loan account on Magic Online. If you want to wear your support, check out the merch store. And of course, thanks for being here. Now let's go play some Magic. Welcome to another Bosch and Roll Legacy video. Today at the request of Patreon subscriber Francis York Morgan, I am revisiting his Esper Vile deck. I've played this deck on the channel in various iterations for Francis over the time that he's been a Patreon member. And this current iteration is both a Yorian build and splashes red for Magus of the Moon and Pyroblast. Well, red elemental blast technically because this is a meddling mage deck full of blue creatures and some amount of the time meddling mage will be naming Pyroblast. Therefore, we're on mono reb, which is pretty cool deck building that I noticed when I saw the list. I actually started to type Pyroblast into the Magic Online filter to replace these and realized why they're there. Good decision, Francis. The other new thing in this build of the deck is Extraction Specialist, as a fun of one of here. 3-2 lifelink for 3. When it enters the battlefield, return target creature card with mana value 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature can't attack or block for as long as you control Extraction Specialist. The flavor here is we have this bigger creature carrying the smaller creature to safety where it can then live a full life once the specialist leaves it alone. That's pretty cool. Things that we can return in this deck include a Charming Prince, which can flicker Extraction Specialist, which both removes it from play, unlocking the Charming Prince, and also it comes back later to get another thing. Fibblethip draws cards. Gilded Drake. Can steal an opponent's creature, Void Walker, get that Graveyard Hate in, Lavinia and Meddling Mage for the Prison Elements, and Baleful Strix to draw a card. Bouncing your own creatures is a theme of this deck. Charming Prince being one of the engine pieces, Teferi being another, Baron is something that incentivizes you to bounce your own creatures because you get to draw a card at the end of your turn if a permanent was put into your hand from the battlefield this turn. Fencer can target your own creatures. Fencer and Baron, and I guess Lavinia, uh, though less so than Fencer and Baron, can be bounced by Caracas to get loops going. This is very much part of the deck, and having a one of Extraction Specialist in there, you could tutor it with Recruiter of the Guard, then get your chain rolling. It's a very cool card. I was hoping to see some Scheming Fence in this list. That's the new blue-white 2-3 from Streets of New Capenna. That's kind of like a half of a Phyrexian Revoker, but it steals the ability instead of just turning it off. But I was trying to think of what it lines up with in Legacy, and basically nothing is the answer. That's just like not a card that's worth the cardboard. And Francis seems to be of that same opinion. But we got one hot new one, Extraction Specialist in here. Also gets flickered with Yorian. I mentioned all the flicker effects except for that one. Sideboard is removal for fair matchups. Counter spells for unfair matchups, and then we have Hidetsugu Consumes All. That's a sweet one to surprise the opponent with out of the board. And one Kataki, one Other Sworn Canonist in the tutor package. And that's the deck. We just have a bunch of sweet value creatures that are going to jump in and out of play. And my experience with this deck in the past is that if you can get your creatures into play, there's a lot of really cool, fun things you can do. Though, the mana is kind of a leaning tower, and you really want your Aether Vial to be in play. And if it's not, you're going to have an uphill battle. That's been my experience. Uh, this deck's asking a lot of its mana base and asking a lot of its Aether Vial, but it's full of powerful spells and cool tricks. And let's go do them. I'm on the draw in round one. Opponent's small to six. I'm going to keep this. It's slow and steady, but Baleful Strikes into Recruiter of the Guard is not bad in any fair matchup. If my opponent's unfair, I'm probably dead. And I did not rip the Aether Vial I was looking for. It's all right, we'll make it work. A Waterlog Groved. 
Is this some weird lands Uro deck or some like infect unfair deck? If it's infect, they had a bad start. So cool. <laughs> well, three of the three cards I've drawn this game were lands, which is not what I was looking for after that keep. Yeah, this is some sort of lands deck with the splash zone. Yeah, an Uro lands strategy of some kind. There's not a lot of decks that play Waterlog Grove. That should be a signal to anyone who is willing to pay attention. And because I did not fetch a basic swamp, I now can't recruit. Good stuff. Though this blast zone's pretty scary anyway. Winding Way hit just a forest, milled crop rotation, Winding Way mulch. All right, so this is some sort of eight mulch deck that also is a Uro deck. These two colorless lands make Uro pretty awkward, but if they have Yavamaya to follow up, they could just have it. I think I want to... I'm fetching two basics and then casting Recruiter. I'm pretty sure I want... Uh, I can look at my deck now. Like, I could get Solitude to answer this Uro. I could get Palace Jailer, which also answers Uro and starts drawing extra cards. I'm probably interested in Palace Jailer. I could also get like any blue card to pair with my force, but I think that's worse than Jailer. I'm going in on that. Jailer also gives me a four drop to diversify against Blast Zone. There's that forest. I feel like they're running out of gas, but I also feel like that may or may not matter. I could Charming Prince to bounce Recruiter, or I could just start drawing extra cards. Double crop rotation makes Merit Lage, uh, but I have Baleful Strix that can block. Okay, I think I'm going to float my Jailer into play to get a white dual land to do that. Right, I'll just become the Monarch and get to work. And I'll attack with Recruiter, but not Strix. If they do have the double crop rotation, Strix can buy me a turn, and then Prince can flicker Jailer, and I can exile the Merit Lage. Okay. Last zone up to two. If you're another recruiter, that's nice. Wish I had a blue card to go with this force. Feel a lot better about this game in that world. I suspect the Uro is coming here. Which I am prepared to answer with the Charming Prince. But the Field of the Dead's about to be alive. That's going to be tough to beat. Wasteland, okay. Snapped off the Wasteland. Yeah, lands are not my problem this game. Quite the opposite. Ooh, double Prince. Okay, Prince to Exile Jailer, and I can Prince again. Uh, th that's a lot of two drops, though. I could Prince again, Exiling Recruiter, or I could just wait. What does waiting even do, though? Yeah, that's bad. Okay, I'm going to get a White Source and Flicker Recruiter. I'm going to try to hide my red mana if I can. There's two White Sources left in the deck. There is a basic island, so I'll leave my scrubland in the deck. Oh, I'm going to recruit for the... The what's-it-shit. The extraction specialist. Get my princes back. I'm not going to attack. Just can't risk losing the monarch. I'll draw a card before I search. Yep. Another land. No problem. Okay. Uh, extraction specialist plays here. Voidwalker doesn't really do anything. Yeah, let's extract. Cool. Still no blue card. Maybe I should have got Vencer or something to go with this force, but this is a lot of lands. Maybe they'll wasteland me again. They're blasting my zone. Uh, they must have Bajuka Bog or access to it. I'll block with Jailer. You don't need Jailer in play. This isn't Fiend Hunter. Not really. Build a Monarch. And now they're at five lands in play. They haven't cast a spell in a long time. Okay, that qualifies as a spell. Nice force of negation, idiot. Me being the idiot here. But I do get to go off. All right, a blue card. Sweet, merciful. Attack for one. Gotta win this game somehow. I know they just put Wasteland in hand. I'll tap this white source. Extraction Specialist. Extract Charming Prince. And then Charming Prince. Flicker Extraction Specialist. And now we're going off. <laughs> just going the fuck off here. And end of turn. I'll draw a card first. That's why I left up white. 
feeling smart. Arming Prince, come back. Flicker Extraction Specialist again. Glad we get to showcase this here in the first game. And if they dredge Loam, I have the Force ready this time. Mana Bond. Ah, uh, that's tough. I'm going to let it happen, because I'm more worried about this Loam. In the Field of the Dead sucks too, but... It is what it is. Like, I'm not going to beat Loam. And Mana Bond is a lot worse without Loam involved. Okay, cool. They're going to pop Waterlog Grove, dredge their loam, then I'm going to force the loam, and then they're just going to be in the fucking toilet. Oh, but they dredged another loam. My life is garbage. Uh, but I can recruit her for something. I can recruit for... Uh, I guess Voidwalker doesn't really help here. An extraction Specialist is coming back. And that's going to get back Baleful Strix, because that's the last thing. Uh, before Strix draws a card, I think I want to fetch... Just guaranteed to draw this island. Prismatic ending kills the mana bond. If they're not ready to pop, it's going to be gone. Are you ready to pop? Yep. Uh, a third loam and dark depths and stage. All right, scary stuff. Hard mode activated. Okay, now I... Still casting Recruiter. Let's look at this deck. Is there something that super actively attacks graveyards, or is it just slow mode? I guess I could Meddling Mage Naming Loam. That's pretty good. Uh, but this Blast Zone is in play already. Damn. I think they got me. Merit Lage is ready to go right now. Looking at the, the deck one more time. Getting Venser is too late. I could get Solitude. Which still isn't exciting, but I guess it could be worse. I'm going to Exile Mana Bond before that just completely buries me. So I'm not in good shape to it anyway. Opponent just said Extraction Specialist is sweet, and I'm inclined to agree. And I guess I will recruit her here for Solitude. I could get Plague Engineer and just shrink the zombies, but there's no, like, Phantasmal image in the deck to really shut it down all the way. Woodwalker. Uh, if I get... I mean, their hand is empty, right? All right. I'm going to get Venser and just count on Baleful Strix to hold the fort for this turn. Okay, they're copying Field of the Dead. Merit Lage is not the plan anyway. Glad I didn't get Solitude. And now I just died to Loams. Yeah, that was kind of tricky. Like, can you even beat Field of the Dead in game one? I'm not convinced. Okay, I'm gonna block, block, block. Oh, right, Baleful Strix can't operate till Extraction Specialist is gone. Bummer. Yeah, I believe this game is over. Still the Monarch, but not for long. Play Strix, and, but uh, they can get Blast Zone up to two this turn. Okay, I, I'm done here. I don't know if I messed that up or like, they just had both dimensions covered with the Merit Lage and the Graveyard stuff. Maybe I'm just supposed to get Voidwalker, but they had the Blast Zone anyway. Yeah, I think they just had me covered, unfortunately. I guess the Moon get in here. Force of Negations. Ooh, Consume is actually really exciting here. That kills all the tokens and clears the graveyard. I think that I do want Force of Negation as well. That's six cards in. What comes out? And Swords of Plowshares. Uh, they showed me Uro and Merit Lage, but I still think that's the worst card in the deck. Bibblethip is looking pretty bad too. Meddling Mage can name Loam, which I like a lot. Extraction Specialist already shined. Even if we lose the match, we did our thing over there. Big fan. Having Hitetsugu consumes all and Aether Vial in my deck at the same time is pretty awk, but trying to play this deck without Aether Vial is also pretty awk. Maybe Teferi sucks. Uh, other than, like, bouncing my own things, there's not a lot of text on that guy. And if I had two Plague Engineers or a clone, I would be all in on this plan. Just name Zombie twice, but I only have one. And in shrinking the zombies is not nothing, but it's also not good. Not enough. All right, yeah, I think I'm going in like this. Oh, Lavinia does actually nothing. I like Plague Engineer better than Lavinia. Yeah, that that's that's nothing. I like the graveyard hate. Okay, I'm in for this version. Okay, on the play here, still no either vial. I can answer a exploration. Really soft to 
wasteland. I guess that's not true. All right, I'm going to keep. I'm not in love with this hand, but it's also not like completely garbage. It's basic island, basic plains, and then, and then what? How hard is turn one going to hit me? Okay, I'm prepared for that. This Field of the Dead. How about some spells? There's the basic swamp, so I'm ready on my basics. An end of this exploration. Got to be kind of careful with the basics, though, because Magus of the Moon is my plan A here. Winding way, all right. Four for four on that one. This be in stage. Discard a second copy of stage. There's two wastelands in the hand. Ooh, consume is hot. Is consume hot? No, I'm going to save that for when I'm going to mop up zombies later. I think I just basic, basic pop Yorian in hand here. Fetching the basics might make my mana awkward moving forward into the game, but I can see two wastelands face up in their hand. I can't just jam into that. Oh, look who's here. I would say better late than never, but I'm not even convinced that's true. Right, I'm going to play Aether Vial, and I'm going to skip my land route. If they can just waste it without me ever tapping it for anything, I'm out. Not interested. Right, they turn Thespian Stage into a basic island. I don't know if they're respecting Magus or if they just are diversifying their card names. Whatever the reason, it was a good play. All right, there's that. I think I want to just pass the turn again. Like I could recruit now, but if I get Charming Prince, I guess it's fine. Okay. I'm going to recruit for Charming Prince, who can flicker Recruiter and get Magus in the future. I have Solitude for Merit Lage. And if they don't have Merit Lage this turn, I can Gilded Drake next turn. Yeah, I think I just want Charming Prince. And then pass the turn. They can kill my Vile. I'm in a world of hurt. Or just lots of basic lands hiding under there. Or Thespian Stage is hiding under basic lands. There's one of the wastes. Okay, uh, good hit on the red source there. I can underground C. If they wasteland me, I can Venser, which sets back Field of the Dead, both by them wasting me and me Vensering. I can Venser on their turn. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Okay, we're in their turn now. I'm going to Venser here and try to bounce Field of the Dead. Just get that out of here. They're going to copy it, but that softens them up to Magus. That's all part of the plan. They're down to five lands either way here. All right, down to four lands. Okay, so I have to Charming Prince in the main phase here. So I can get my Recruiter back in the end step, and then I can Magus on my turn. Did we successfully wiggle around this? Moment of truth. Magus of the Moon. Well, they have to go to clean up. That was a full Venser actual removal spell. Oh, and they're scooping to the Magus. Well navigated there, if I do say so myself. Just waste time, waste time, banger card. Okay. Getting cheesed out by Merit Lage. I don't want that to happen. How do I stop it? Swords to Plowshares is the answer, but that card is so bad, except when it's keeping me from getting cheesed out by Merit Lage. They've seen Swords to Plowshares, though which makes it better, like they're not just going to go off into white mana. All right. Uh, I might want the fourth ending in, though. That might have been a miss from last round. Alice Jailer, are you the worst card left here? It's possible. I mean, Gilded Drake only gets Merit Lage in the matchup, but it's an important thing to get. Also a blue card for all these forces I have in. I think I like Jailer more than I like Plague Engineer. I'm doing this. One basic land, but a couple of brainstorms, and I have force. First appearance of force of will in the matchup. I'm going to keep this hand. There's a world where I just get wasted into the trash here, but let's hope we're not living in that one. All right, there's basic plains or swamp as needed. Touched for a basic island in my end step, or basic forest in my end step. I'm not countering mulch. That's not where this gets pointed. Got wasteland, misty breeding pool off of that. Gonna brainstorm first. Nice. That's why you brainstorm on your turn. That Aether Vial is clutch. 
Uh, do I need all these lands? I hope not, because I'm getting rid of them. And here is basic swamp, because that sets up Baleful Strix for next turn. Then I have Brainstorm plus Strix to try to find the basic planes. Exploration. All right. I'm going to use my Prismatic Ending on that. Dark Depths confirmed. Misty Rainforest. All right. I'll have a blocker for Depths before it's beating me. A lot of basic planes. I can brainstorm looking for the basic planes. I could Strix looking for basic planes, or I could just sacrifice my Tundra for the cause. And I think I'm sacking Tundra for the cause. And I'm going to give Strix one chance to find a basic first. Not the basic I was looking for, but hitting the land drop. I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm going to blast this exploration while I can. And passing the turn. I can Magus next turn with Force Backup. Even through Wasteland, that's still a play that's available to me. Oh wait, no. I, I'm a mana short. Never mind, never mind. For some reason I thought Recruiter cost two in my head for a second. That card would be even better. Okay, I can Brainstorm. I can Jam Recruiter. If I Recruit for Charming Prince right away. Right, I actually like that play. I'm going to get Tundra. Play Recruiter. Recruiter can get Prince, and I can put in Prince, which can flicker Recruiter, which can get Magus, and then they have to Merit Lage and connect this turn before my Magus comes down next turn, and I have to just get Magus here. Like That's the game. That's the plan. The whole plan. I don't have another one. Um, They just rotate away Dark Depths. I'm not going to force this. The Blast Zone? Yeah, okay. The so Blast Zone can kill Aether Vial, which means that now I have mana problems again. But I am just crunching for four, and they're down a land if that's the play. Okay. Uh, that could have been worse. Oh, there's the Wasteland. All right, now it's worse. I wouldn't fault anyone for forcing that crop rotation, but it didn't seem that bad to me. All right, Brainstorm, you're up, buddy. Fix the hand. Hell yeah. Lands to cast spells. I think Prismatic Ending. I, I'm gonna just going to float those away. Marsh Flats gets Basic Planes, and I can attack. And I'm just passing the turn here. I have Force of Will back up. Prismatic Ending's on top of my deck. Let's Field of the Dead go. In my upkeep. Fetch. Grab a Planes. Draw for turn. Oh, I can even Brainstorm on the way out. That's pretty exciting. Okay, um, Brainstorm. Cavern of Souls, not helpful. Extraction Specialist, fucking stoked. Put back Cavern and uh, Baron is uncastable, but that's my blue card. All right, I'm going to get rid of Alice Jaller, actually. It's not a card I can cast with Magus in play. Grab a Plateau here. And Magus. Do they copy Forest in response? Copy Island in response. All right. Oh, yeah, they are an Uro build of the deck. Okay, I have Magus in play with Force backup. Let's see what can happen now. Uh, they have Forest Mulch. Uh, they hit a Loam and some more mountains. I'm just not fighting over their mountains here. Did hit another Loam. Yeah, they're just dead in one turn with Force backup. Charming Prince. Hell yes. Attack with my Dinguses. I can Baleful Strix and Charming Prince. And still have Force Backup. Strix. Prince. Flicker. Recruiter. I don't even know what I want here. It barely matters. Uh, I can't cast Voidwalker. I guess I should just get something castable. Which would be... I could Recruit for Recruiter. Don't have to make a decision yet. Just cash in my card advantage. Figure it out later. Magus the Moon hard carried. My opponent said in the chat, GG, some people want it more than others, lol. What does that mean? I cast a sideboard card in our sideboard games? I don't understand. But anyway, the Red Splash beat this deck by itself. GG's opponent, on to the next round. My opponent's name is Ban Island. Any chance they're not a blue deck? I am going to keep my hand. It has Aether Vial. Plus Brainstorm, Fetchland, Basics. This is a pretty solid hand. Like, Force of Will is the one thing I wish this hand had that it doesn't. 
An Arid Mesa. That's surprising. That's not a land you see much in the Legacy format. It used to be, like, the ninth fetch land in blue-white control decks, but then Prismatic Vista was printed, and you just didn't even need that anymore. Oh, they got the Junder Dome. Okay, maybe they are genuinely not a blue deck. They believe in their statement of banning island. We're about to find out what they are. Goblins. Okay. They are a goblin deck. Snoop. Revealing Snoop. All right. They're a combo goblin deck. Scary. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. I'm going to brainstorm. I don't think Lavinia is where I want to be this match. She is the only thing that comes out of this Aether Vial next turn, but I could brainstorm again. Yeah, Lavinia sucks. And Teferi's probably bad too, honestly. I'm being real with myself here. Baron is like Teferi, but has power and toughness. And I need the lands. Apparitions removal. Maybe Force of Will's bad. They already have Cavern. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Lavinia and Force of Will, actually. And I'm going to fetch Basic Plains with my Flooded Strand. Because Prismatic Vista can get the Swamp, which otherwise I don't have a route to. Let's see if this Aether Vial setup is good enough against the Snoop. This is where they just slam Bogart Harbinger and I die. Oh, they drew Snoop. The top of their deck is still Snoop. Just unstoppable snooping. They are getting their attack in, as one does. At least I didn't get combo killed. There's the bonus Snoop. All right, deck. Time to uh, put these Aether Vials to work. How about one of the many two drops that I play? Okay, uh, that is something. I can... The Plague Engineer doesn't even seem that good against this deck. I can... Recruiter for Prince, Flicker, get Solitude. I don't hate that. Okay, I'm gonna get my basic Swamp here. Recruit for Prince. Yeah, I think Prince is the right call here. Put in Prince, click a Recruiter, and that's going to get Solitude. Solitude is now in my hand. Ringleader on top for them, and another Snoop in hand. Food Chain. Uh, if I'm going to Solitude, it, I got to do it now. But they can Snoop up to Snoop. I can turn their 6 mana into 3, though. Or I could just wait for a payoff. I don't know. Feels bad, but I'm going to interact in the way that I can here. I've done my best. They appear to be casting spells. Disappointing. Sting Scourger. Uh, that's okay. I'm happy to put either of these creatures back in my hand, but they do get another mana out of that. Four mana. Snoop is back. Can get this up to five mana. Oh no, they had the ringleader. All right. Wait, where'd the ringleader go? How did. I misunderstand what just happened somehow. Ringleader was... Can you cast cards off the top of your deck with Snoop? Oh, you may cast Goblin. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I thought that was a line of text on Snoop and just it left my brain. Yeah, yeah, that's the Ringleader. They hit Ignoble Hierarch. And they do have Muxus. Moment of Truth. How bad is it? Oh, just the worst. Actually, that's not that bad. Uh, without a Snoop in play, Kiki Jiki isn't the nightmare that he frequently is. So it does represent a lot of mana here. I don't know. Let's see where this goes, I guess. Uh, they can copy Ignoble Hierarch, making one mana for a Crater Maker to destroy a, an Aether Vial. That's a play that exists. I appear to be taking that line. Should attack first. But I guess it doesn't matter. Oh no, none of these creatures have haste. Never mind. Oh, just cast another Hierarch. Okay, so they're not coming after my Aether Vial here. One card left in hand. We are just weirdly stable right now. And I can Skyclave the Food Chain next turn. I don't know. This, this is close. Oh, there's still more. Food Chain is still eating. What's the final? Oh, is it another Muxus? Another Ringleader? Goblin Wizard, my goodness. You may put a goblin permanent card from your hand into play. Target goblin gains pro white. Oh yeah, that's fair. <laughs> okay. Well, we survived that shit wave somehow, and it's not that bad. 
going to put counters on both of these vials. Yes and yes. Draw for turn land. Is land helpful? Uh, land lets me brainstorm. Am I even brainstorming? I can vial in apparition, eat crater maker, flicker apparition, exile food chain. I could also flicker recruiter get plague engineer, which kills two of these goblins, but not the important ones. I could eat crater maker. Let's look at this deck. I could get Palace Jailer. Eat Kiki Jiki. I could eat two things with Palace Jailer, actually. Bro, white's pretty fucked up, though. My whole board is white. Oh, wait, I can't get Jailer anyway because I have to flick a recruiter and vials only on three. That's not a line. I could vial in Baron, bounce recruiter, rather than flicker it. That gets me two cards. But can I remove Kiki Jiki in that world? I kind of don't want them to have Crater Maker or Food Chain going into next turn. And Kiki Jiki's a problem too, but if this wizard untaps, then I'm never killing anything. This is a really challenging position. I'm into it. The Plague Engineer can wipe out the. Oh, can I take Kiki Jiki? If I vial in Baron, then cast Recruiter. Then vial in Gilded Drake. But then Kiki Jiki dies to Crater Maker before I can use it. But that's pretty cool. It gives them food chain for a turn, but also, like, good luck with that. I could also brainstorm and just see where things go. But I think brainstorm will be better next turn. I think I want to go with Gilded Drake. Yeah, um, I'm going to go for that. Okay. Aether Vile. Time to take action. Yes. Put in Baron. Bounce Recruiter. Then Recruit. Yes. Get Gilded Drake. Oh, that doesn't work. What the fuck, Brian? <laughs> That's a 3-3. Why didn't you tell me, chat? All right. I got so excited. All right. Time to uh, pivot. I think I have to get Charming Prince now. I just blew it. Um, am I dead? Uh, I'm not dead. I'm in trouble, though. Okay, uh, Charming Prince is now the line. And then put in Prince to Flicker, Recruiter. I'll play my land. I worked so hard for that and then fucked it up at the very end. All right, I want Baron to resolve first, so I have more information with my tutor. I think this one gets the, the Plague Engineer. Can't believe I did that. I put so much thought into that and just yeeted at the end. Hopefully they just break their draw step. Making another Crater Maker. Makes sense. They can kill both my other vials this turn. I'm not going to block the 3 damage attack here. My creatures are worth too much. Uh, this I might have to block. How much damage is this? 1 million? 10. Going to 6. How bad is that? Not great. Okay, all right. They're crater making that. Are you giving pro white as well? If they give pro white before blocks, then I can't block, but I will. All right, deal. I'm just taking 10. And now I get at least one of these Aether Vials because they use Crater Maker to clear Baron. Oh, baby, we're in there. Okay. Do I want them both on three? I think so. Don't use this one. And then, yes, use this one. They're both on three. I can put in Plague Engineer immediately. Or I guess I could put in Apparition first, clear the Crater Maker, and then Engineer gets to stick. That's interesting. All right, Apparition, get in there. Oh, wait, that doesn't work because of Goblin Wizard. All right, I have to go after Food Chain now. There's so many moving pieces. Give me a fucking break. I can see the, ch the comments getting mean. All right, at least I didn't target anything, though. Figured it out eventually, on the slow. All right, uh, giving Muxus Pro White in response, that was not part of the plan. It's all good. Put in Plague Engineer, name Goblin. Fuck your goblins. And I think I want to brainstorm here. All right, my hand did not improve. Put back 
two of these lands I can fetch. Or a, do I want basic? Probably doesn't. I don't think this version plays Wasteland. Right, I'm going to get Underground Sea and play Strix. Raider Maker can beat Strix. Something I just got to be aware of. Charming Prince. I'm going to flick our Recruiter here. If they want to kill it with Crater Maker, then they aren't Crater Making everything else. I get a Tutor in the end step. I'd like a blue card. It might just be Venser at this point. So Extraction Specialist is going to be able to operate next turn. So it might be time for Palace Jailer. Okay, I'm in on Palace Jailer. Let's go. The food chain's gone. They still have Crater Maker plus Kiki Jiki. They can kill the Plague Engineer with that combo if they want to. They lost their pro white creature. A big Muxus attack. And they're probably going to ping. I have two Death Touch creatures here. Probably going to ping Strix before blocks because that's the easy one. And then I'll just trade Plague Engineer. Okay, they're going after Engineer. Do you want Strix also? They're quickly running out of material here. Oh, hell yeah. Muxus doesn't have Trample or Pro White or anything on its own. Oh, I'll block with one of my many Charming Princes. And Goblin Lackey, welcome to the party. Okay, cool. Uh, we are somehow stable and doing it. I am going to put one of these vials up to four. Because it that does play or, uh, Palace Jailer this turn plus Yorian next turn. I'm going to exile Kiki Jiki. I don't actually care about Muxus. That's just a creature. Yorian in my hand. And go to my end step and draw a card. Bibble Thip. Okay, this is the turn. If they can somehow blast through my creatures, they're going to win. If they can't, I'm probably going to win. Snoop. Uh, they get to cast Hierarch off the top. Force of Will is live here, but I'm not going to force this Hierarch. Okay, they're Hellbent again, but their top card is Ringleader. That is the best card they have. Oxus gets to party. I think I have to lose the Jailer. I just think that's the worst card in play right now by a lot. Vile stays on three. Other Vile goes to five. Do I have any attacks here? Oh, this Prismatic Ending is pretty cool. Uh, and it does give me attacks. I get to exile the Snoop. I don't want to worry about that anymore. Play Fibble Thip. Leaving up white. Lavinia. That's not nothing. It's not good, but it's also not nothing. I can attack with Apparition and Charming Prince. I'm not going to trade off Recruiter here. Then fetch for something that casts Lavinia. Scrubland. Looks as good as anything else. Blue white. There she is. Then Yorian now. So my creatures are back in time to block. Charming Prince, Skyclave Apparition, Recruiter, and Fibble Thip. I'm not going to reset my Aether Vial. My deck does play Caracas. Get a 3 3 blue idiot. So I'll draw a card first. Ooh, Gilded Drake. And Apparition can get rid of Hierarch. I'm more worried about that than I am about Lackey at this stage of the game. And then, I guess I want to flicker Yorian here and just loop. I can search for a three drop and use it right away. Extraction Specialist, are we in? Yeah, we are. Get Extraction Specialist. I'm ready to extract. I can extract on their turn in combat, though. We're drawing Ringleader. One card in hand. I'm going to have to watch out for time. I think I am ahead and winning here, but time could be an issue if we go three games. Skirk Prospector and Goblin Matron. Matron's a little scary. Uh, that can get Sling Gang Commander or Sling Gang Lieutenant, whatever rank that thing is. I think you need your 4-4 back. They disagreed. Okay. Uh, Muxus gets large. And then I'm going to block with Recruiter. And then I'm going to recruit this, or I'm going to extraction specialist and extract multiple people from combat right now. I'm going to get Charming Prince into play. And Prince is going to flicker recruiter. Okay. We're having a good time. Oh, God. I can't tell which Prince is which. All right. This one 
exiled recruiter, so I want that one to resolve first. Wait, did I not get the choice to stack these? Yeah, I wanted recruiter before our Yorion, but I guess, bug me. Bibblethip, Apparition, Prince, Extraction Specialist Prince. Yeah, everybody's out. Except Lavinia, because she doesn't do anything. Recruiter, yes. Recruit. Or right, Venser does beat Chalice in all the ways that matter. Or Chalice. By Chalice, I mean Cavern. It's just C words. And I want to guild a Drake. I would like this Muxus, please. And then in the end step, all my things come back. I'll draw a card first. Here's all my things. Apparition, eat, ringleader, Bibblethip, draw a card, extraction specialist, get back Baleful Strix, Prince, Flicker, Gilded Drake, because I own it, and uh, Charming Prince, Flicker, Dorian. Okay, here we go. We're going off. I am under 10 minutes on my clock and need to figure out how to win this game. I think Yurian, when it comes back, is just not really going to flicker anything, and I'm going to just bash with all my creatures. In real life, I think I would just keep flickering, keep drawing cards, but in this moto game, I need to understand that I'm ahead and push. I'm just going to denser that. Turn this to your hand. Yeah, Yorian can start like flickering Venser and removing lands. There's Yorian. I'm just going to not do it. Gilded Drake can trade with Ignoble Hierarch, I guess. I'll take the mana. Towards the Plowshare is not a bad draw. So we can Prismatic Ending the Gilded Drake. Attack with creatures. So Yorian can fly. Extraction Specialist has lifelink. Muxus is big. Don't care about Lavinia. Or they do have a 3 3, so Lavinia should not fight. Here come my creatures. Okay, then I'm going to Meddling Mage name and Goblin Matron. And pass the turn. Again, this is not how I would play this in real life, but there's eight minutes on my clock and we have at least one more game to play. Don't care. Not even going to counter it. Here come all of my jerks. Back with them all, including Ignoble Hierarch. Just turn them sideways. It was enough. Yeah, that game got super grindy. Uh, I thought for sure we were dead to the food chain, but ended up being fine. They just kind of whiffed on a Muxus and a ringleader. That's all it took. <laughs> no big deal. Swords to Plowshares, I'm in. Magus of the Moon's a little awkward because it turns off their uh, caverns. And they are also a two-color deck that has a hard time casting its spells with just mountains, but they're also a goblin deck. It's tricky. And I want Prismatic Ending as well. I think Teferi's bad. I don't think I need Voidwalker. Consume is kind of interesting, but I don't think I actually want it. Force of Negation is definitely bad. I'd rather have Teferi than Force of Negation. All right, I'm going to go in like this and try to play fast. Snap keeping my hand with Removal Spell and Aether Vile. If they have Lackey, I'll kill it. If they don't, I'll Vile. And I'm going to Vial off of Basic Island so I can cast Baleful Strix next turn. And I'm just aggressively F6ing, saving every precious second. I'm going to have to set an auto yield on Aether Vial, which could hurt me later, but I think it's more likely that I lose because I wasted a bunch of time on Aether Vial than if I can't Vial in my upkeep. Carpet of Flowers, that's a good one. Always yield to Vial. Yes. Draw. Okay, fuck a Baleful Strix. I gotta get rid of this Snoop before I'm dead to it. Next turn, I can Recruiter plus Flicker Recruiter. Or a Recruiter plus Strix. Like, whatever seems appropriate on the board. There's that carpet. Good for one. Aid for itself. Uh-oh, Ancient Tomb. How deep are we going? Snoop can Crater make. It didn't do it, though. Uh, no respect for either Vial. We get Swamp here, play Recruiter, see if they want to blow up Aether Vial in response. They do not. I think I want Solitude. Really good at making sure I'm not dead. I can put in Strix if they deign to attack me here. As much as I'd like to Flicker, 
That's just really bad with the Crater Maker. War Chief, that's a good card. And Harbinger. Okay, um, I have to kill Snoop in response here, or else I'm just dead. Hopefully they'll run their Chief into Baleful Strix, though. Probably just putting Muxus on top, calling it a day. Unless they're ready to rebuild the combo already. That's why I got Solitude. This deck having a combo kill in it is not cool. Ringleader makes sense, too. Please attack, please attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, turn them sideways. Let's go. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. God damn it. <laughs> uh, we almost got the War Chief. They heard me celebrating. I should have just stone-faced it. Okay, I got the War Chief anyway. I am going to trade off with Harbinger. I just don't want them to have any material at all. I will put this up to three. Ugh. If I ponder, I might not have the mana for Prismatic Ending, which I am interested in. So, all right, I actually... No, I think Brainstorm's better. Yeah, I'm going to Brainstorm, because that could get the mana for Ending and a creature to play. And it, I found it all. All right, get rid of these Ponders. Fetch the other... Oh, bummer. All right, I'm gonna, not going to fetch another Island. Let me get Scrubland. Oh, that doesn't work. Shit. All right, I have to get an island. I guess I'll get Tundra. There are double white cards in my deck. Blue, white. Wait, wait, wait. Blue, white, black. Yeah. Get rid of that. Back for one. Don't love giving them the extra mana, but is what it is. Warchief is also extra mana, but it's also haste. And yeah, yeah. I think I made the right call. Crater Maker. Yep, we know about that one. You want to spend some effort destroying Vile before Ringleader shows up, or are we just jamming Ringleader? All right. Yeah, it's the right call to remove this thing because it is going to kill you. Charming Prince already in my hand. I think I want Plague Engineer. Get ahead. And Plague Engineer is not exactly lights out, at least not on its own here. But it's not bad either. And then I can Fibble and then Flicker. Probably shouldn't have tapped the swamp in case I draw a land here. All right. Unpunished, as usual. Like a recruiter. Four minutes on the clock. Let's make this thing happen. All right, what can draw cards or like win the game? Oh, Extraction Specialist? Hell yeah. This card has been an absolute banger. Ringleader. How far are we going? Ignoble, Hierarch, Bogart, Harbinger, Dublin Matron. Okay. Harbinger plus Matron represents the combo. Gotta respect that. Oh, Fury. Uh, that's most of my board. I get one thing. Probably Fibblethip. Though, Extraction Specialist really pads the, the impact of this. Oh, and they pitch cast it. Nice. What did they pitch? Magus of the Moon. Okay, that's in my deck. Uh, I'm gonna take three here. It's fine. Okay. Uh, I can ponder first. That's fun. Uh, I'll, I'll shuffle this. I don't need lands. And extract the Charming Prince. Flicker the Specialist. And my land. I'm going to attack for one. Got to win the game. Specialist comes back. It's Baleful Strix, which draws a card. I totally on purpose played around. Carpet of Flowers putting another island into play. All right, they can get Snoop and play Harbinger. This is a multi-turn line, though. I don't think I died of the combo right now. Pretty sure. All they have to do is waste time, though. Right, Matron is in. Between Plague Engineer and these cantrips, I gotta come up with uh, Swords to Plowshares this turn. Another Ringleader, and they can do that right now. Yeah, they're just reloading. Good choice. That hit Matron and Muxus. Alright, next turn there will be a Muxus amongst us. I'm gonna ponder first. There's Swords to Plowshares. Wow, I like all of this. Um, do not shuffle the library. And then uh, Blue Black, Helpful Strix. And attack with my Lifelink creature and my U2. Charming Prince. And Flicker. You don't need to rescue anybody. Flicker, Baleful Strix, then it knows how to attack and block suddenly. I'm drawing the plow here. 
Two and a half minutes. Let's go. Carpet is good for plenty of mana to Muxus. I just need Muxus to uh, not kill me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mana. That's not enough to Muxus and Matron. We don't have too many Ancient Tomb taps left this game either. All right, there he is. Can't stop it. How bad is it? Oh no, they hit Sling Gang. Um, that is, uh, and you gain one life. That's the bad news. Maybe I should have plowed that in response to the trigger. Maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, no, because I get to Plague Engineer and force the action next turn. So their hand is Harbinger and Matron. They get a second round of mana off this other carpet. I can force the action next turn on a... on a Plague Engineer. Matron... This could get a... Skark Prospector, I guess, for a burst of mana. But they don't have black for the Harbinger. Right, second Sling Gang is the out. But they know I'm holding Plague Engineer, which just turns that whole line off. Let's slam this name Goblin. I take whatever damage they're offering me here. That also beats the Sling Gang Lieutenant that they just tutored for. There's no answer to it in play. Yeah, the and you gain life part of Sling Gang's rough. Goblin, get out. And then uh, I can plow Moxis and get a big attack through. I guess I should... Brainstorm first, using my red land that doesn't do anything else. Okay, that's way better. Um, now it's about the same. I'm going to plow that. Plow the Muxus. Attack with all my creatures. Hope they're dead. I have a lifelink creature attacking. Bogart Harbinger dies immediately. Slinging Lieutenant also dies immediately. They're in chump block mode. All right, go. Please don't kill me. I'm F6, just all the way in. They are dead on board, and their hand doesn't help, but they have two cards they don't know about in the hand. Matron can tutor for another Muxus, or tutor for Crater Maker, which can kill Engineer, and then Sling Gang's back on. All right, they're going for Muxus. Cool. All right, I know their whole hand right now. It's just how hard this Muxus hits me is the last variable. There it is. It hit Skirt Prospector and Goblin Matron with both, both died immediately. Yeah, they can tutor something and they just have Ancient Tomb left. They block my biggest creature. They still take two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Attacking. You're at eight. That creature doesn't have lifelink to my knowledge. That was an exciting match. 129 on the clock. Who needs a clock anyway? Creature versus creature combat. Van Island indeed. On to the next round. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards. And you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. On the play for round three with, uh, I'm going to keep it and hope they're a combo deck. Basically, I have the entire anti-combo package in my opener here. But every deck has cards in it. I will use my powerful legacy brain to just name spells they're going to cast with these two meddling mages based on their first land drop. Let's go. Unmask pitching the Grizz Father. Oh, that's actually interesting. Okay. Targeting me. I am going to force this pitching Venser because I can also solitude a creature if they put one into play. And I can meddling mage a reanimation spell. Also had thoughts he's all right. We're in trouble. Okay, they are a combo deck. Let's hope this works. Let me get Underground C. Oh, either Vile right on time. Okay, blue, white. And I'm going to name Entomb. Could just die to Faithless Looting. They could reanimate. Oh, they left me with Solitude. Never mind. I was about to say they could reanimate my Solitude and eat Meddling Mage and then just beat me with it. But that has not occurred. No Faithless Looting. No play. Oh, Gilded Drake, are you kidding? Here's Vile. I'll start bashing. Every life point matters between Grizzlebrand and Reanimate. Okay, they hit a land drop. As Vile gets up to two, I'm actually, like, not even in that bad of shape. Oh, baby. Please don't have Cabal Therapy in your deck. Thought sees targeting me. Okay. Away one of these things goes. Sorry if you just heard a weird little ding. Uh, my desktop audio is usually off, and it wasn't. Enjoy my email notifications. 
Reanimating my solitude. Yep, that is the play I've been worried about this whole time. You go to five off of that. And then what's left in the tank over here? And I can guild a drake two creatures next turn. Two cards left. If it's in tomb, it can't be reanimate. Uh, it has to be in tomb animate dead. There's emissary. Yeah, if you exhume that named creature, I'm kind of fucked. All right, they figured it out. I got a meddling mage back, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, them and all their permanents have protection from creatures. Yeah, so I can't even attack them for damage, much less take one of their things. All right, they threaded the needle one turn before I was ready. And the... Pretty sure Gilded Drake just dies if you can't flip it. If you don't or can't make an exchange, sacrifice Gilded Drake. Yes, okay. Um, putting Yorian in my hand doesn't help. Is there any out to this? Birds to Plowshares uh, is a card in my deck. Okay. I do have outs. I'm going to play my land, put Yorian in the grip. And I have one draw step to find. Birds to Plowshares. Or Teferi. Yeah, Swords of Plowshares and Teferi both get me out of this. I have to take 10 here. Unable to block. Come on, out. I am not gonna go up on Vile. And... Oh! Never didn't have it. <laughs> Never mind the fact you just looked at my hand and know I didn't have it. But, bang. Play to your outs, because they're in the deck. And I have named Faithless Looting with this meddling mage. Feeling smart about that right now. Because now the best car card they can reanimate is in their hand. Which is where they can't entomb for it there. All right, I'm going to get my solitude back here. Doink. Then, either vial. Do I want to take this up? No, I think I want to leave it on two. Or Gilded Drake that's in my hand. Or the... Charming Prince right there. And Charming Prince is target creature you own, so I can just clear the Gilded Drake, or I could flicker Solitude. Yeah, I'm just going to clear the Gilded Drake. Awesome. Sorry if you hear banging. My house is under construction, but I can't not record today. <laughs> it's not an option. Opponents at one. And we did it. Wow. Uh, play to your outs. Sometimes you draw your four outer in an 80 card deck. I'm bringing in all of my extra forces, my graveyard hate, and my spot removal. Consume, like, suspend one Tormod script is not sexy, but it's about having as many answers as possible. Lavinia is actually good here. Fibblethip's kind of a shitter. Plague Engineer and Prismatic Ending are completely blank. Teferi's normally bad in this matchup, but, uh, do I owe him? <laughs> you don't owe magic cards, that's not a thing. Uh, so... Thank you for your service to Fairy, but I think you're getting cut here. Uh, Apparition's probably worse than to Fairy. And the Fairy's also blue for force. Is there another non blue card I can cut? Voidwalker's great. Strix is fine. Meddling Mage is great. Lavinia's fine. Extraction Specialist might be kind of low for this particular matchup. Okay, yeah, I like it this way. I'm bringing in Graveyard Hate anyway, so cutting my Graveyard card makes sense. Go in. Well, I'm obviously keeping this hand. Grief pitching animate dead is pretty interesting here. I'm actually just going to let grief resolve because I have two forces. Okay, they took one of the forces. Like, if they reanimate grief here, then I can force that, and they got three cards instead of four. Like, it's a three for three. Oh my god, just keep drawing the best cards in my deck. Hey there, Vile, let's go! It's usually right to counter the dark ritual in this spot. I could force pitch to fairy. Yeah, I'm in. They either baited me or this is right. <laughs> I think those are the two modes here. Okay, they snuck in and tomb through. Uh, but I'm really I am glad I forced that all the same. And Vile goes up. I have to meddling mage something here. I'm gonna get underground C. Yeah, I have to just like pick one of the reanimation spells. Reanimate is the they pitched an Animate Dead earlier. I couldn't name Animate Dead or Exhum. I also just Ponder, try to hit a Force. In my deck right now, there is six Forces, and that's it. I don't love that. I am going to name Reanimate. 
Let's go for the easy one. They've already pitched an enemy dead. I don't think they play the full four exhum, but I know they play four reanimates. Let's just hope I chose correctly. Nope. <laughs> you got me. All right, let's see if I can rip a Caracas and get out of this. They drew the full 14. Can't cast reanimate, which Meddling Mage is already naming. Unmasking me, probably taking Ponder. Yep. And Dark Ritual, another thing. Another Exhum, getting Archon. All right, yeah, we're dead. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was like a name one of the three things, and I picked the one that I knew they still had four copies of in their deck and chose wrong. Oh, well. Now we get a game on the play. I might want to cut Charming Prince or Recruiter. Probably not Recruiter. That card's so good. I think I want to cut Charming Prince for Fibblethip. It's one less white card for Solitude, but it's another blue card for my eight forces, and I think that's more important. Yeah, story checks out. Let's go. Okay, I have a Forest and a Gilded Drake, but I'm not exactly coming out blazing. I'm still going to keep here. Look at this beautiful Jeskai mana base in, the, in my Esper deck. Ugh, you love to see it. Opponent mold to six. I am going to land go here. See what you got. I assume they have some point of interaction. Let's hope they don't have two. I think I'm going to force the Thoughtseize. Pitching to Fairy. Uh-oh. We're going to second round right away. Okay, they just had to turn one. Sure. Let's hope Gilded Drake does what it needs to do here. They can draw 14, and we know they have Unmask and Grief in the deck. Yeah, that's kind of a beating. Pass the turn. Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, they had a six-card hand that turned one me through with Force of Will. What are you going to do? They took Recruiter. They must be planning to reanimate again this turn. Well, Faithless Looting. That's not that good. Starting Archon and Emissary. They can't reanimate Emissary. Uh, they had another Grief. All right. That works. Time to draw Caracas. Come on, Caracas, right off the top. Or Gilded Drake or Source of Plowshares. Let's go! Shit. All right. This game's probably over. Unmask. All right, sure. The coast is clear, it's safe to say. And they get to draw another seven here. If they get Sarah's Emissary in, it doesn't even matter if I rip one of my cards. Still Dark Ritualing, are we casting Grief? What's going on here? Reanimating Archon, sure. They can't really exhume here. At least they got that going for me. All right, they don't need to. All right. Absolutely shit housed through a force of will on the play against an opponent who mauled a six. That's why Reanimator is a good deck. On to the next round. On the draw in round four with an Aether Vile Hand, I'm in. Even at force of will. Not that it helped me last round. <laughs> I'm thinking about the meddling mage from last round in game two, and I think that I should have named Exhum because. Reanimate at least limits how many times they can draw cards with Grizzlebrand. Like, if they're going to have a reanimation spell, I'd prefer it be that one, I guess. Uh, I think I'm forcing this Reclaimer. Doesn't get much better than that in matchups that have that card. Okay, I'm going to fetch a basic island and play Aether Vial. And hope my deck delivers some spells in the near future. I respect the flex, though, of playing Once Upon a Time, revealing Wooded Foothills, and then playing Misty Rainforest instead of the card I just saw. All right. Um, I could die very quickly here, or I could tutor up my Plague Engineer. Those are the two ways this game goes. Meddling Mage? Oh, that's actually great. Prismatic Ending, your Shepo. Get out. Juka bogging me. <laughs> that's funny with my Extraction Specialist in hand. Did not attack. All right. Come on, some card. One spell, any spell. Recruiter is obviously the best one. Apparition. That doesn't hit what I need it to. I'm just going to put Yorian in my hand. I'm just going to grab that Yorian. Apparition can't exile Dried Arbor, or else I'd go in on it. Oh, they did have a spell. Oh, Endurance. Yeah, that's a spell. That's a three mana spell. All right. I thought they were just trying to protect their Dryad Arbor from a Flash Threat or the Aether Vial, but they had a thing to cast. They got to do both, actually. 
Targeting yourself with endurance, then jamming. Elvish Reclaimer. That's a mood. Uh, they are protecting from the, the vial, though. Holding back a little bit. Zenith for two. Is this Collector Roof? Elvish Visionary? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. All right. Time for um, Recruiter off the top. Let's go. No love. I did find my fifth land for Yorian, in case I'm interested in that. I can remove the Endurance from play, or am I more worried about uh, Reclaimer? Probably Reclaimer, actually. Unfortunately, this is a 3-drop that Extraction Specialists can't get back, but if they... I'm not going to double block. All right. Maybe I am going to double block. Probably not, though. Zenith. All right. They have, uh, they have Natural Order. That's the only reason you Zenith for zero here. Let's hope my lifelink creature does enough. Okay, what do we got? 9, 16, 21. Alright, lifelink creature. Extract. Offer the trade that I can get. I have not done the math. <laughs> I'm at 1 or just dead or something. I know this math is easy. I'm just not bothering with it because there's nothing I can do about it. Dead for Xaxes, they got me. Alright. Well played. One creature short. So the plows come in, I think consume comes in, just as sweeper mode. Ending, cannonist, I don't like force and negation. I like it so little that I'm actually going to cut the one I already have. Probably get lower on force of will also. Lavinia is actually okay, I guess. It can slow down natural order. The fairy barely matters. Oh. Look at that some more in a second. The fairy can slow them down. Uh, Voidwalker doesn't matter. Gilded Drake is not good here either. I mean, other than the like take and flicker and whatever, just reducing their creature count, but that's kind of a mid-game line that I need to play too. Surviving and then dominating are the two phases of this game. I don't hate Magus, actually. I think I do want that in the pool of things I can search for. Alice Jailer is pretty risky. Maybe I go down to one force of will. No, I, th I feel like I need forces. I do have a bunch of answers to Alice or Shepard right now. Probably Gilded Drake. I can't take Progenitus. Taking Archon is, is actually fine. Uh, but I have a lot of answers to Archon. Okay, I'm doing this. Let's go. Don't love this. Uh, it does have Recruiter. Alright, I'm going to keep just pretty awkward that most hands are bad. I'm going to underground C and pass. Once upon a time, Heritage D. That's a fast one. Zenith. This plays around um, Prismatic Ending, but I think I have a turn to Strix here. If I draw a Plow, I'm just jamming it, but I don't think I want to Brainstorm for Plow. Yeah, I'm just going to Strix. If they had played the Heritage Druid, I think I would have brainstormed, because then I have Plow or Prismatic Ending as hits. That's not Gaia's Cradle. I'm happy about it. Zenith for one this time. Shepard, Symbiote. All right. I can brainstorm, try to interact, jam Recruiter, show them Plague Engineer, and say bet. I think I want to brainstorm. That did not get better. I'm going to fetch again and brainstorm again. I can brainstorm or I can play Fibble Thip. I'm going to Fibble, I guess. I can have a better brainstorm next turn. I could even brainstorm and recruiter next turn. Force of Will, not helpful with Shep in play. Step in the right direction, I guess. My plan involves finding Plow anyway. I need to survive this turn and then question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. Well, can't counter that. And we know there's a Heritage Druid right there. An Elf. <laughs> How lucky in your Elf deck. Zenith for two. Is this the Visionary? Okay. Well, they still have their land drop, so just like Cradle Splat is still live here. If they miss on Cradle, I'm actually doing okay. All right, the Symbiote's been used. Two mana available. Land drop still floating. All right, that's not Cradle. Give me a turn. Give me a turn. Yeah, passing priority. Okay. 
Let's find a removal spell for the Shep, and then Force of Will is live again. Brainstorm. Oh wow, that's actually nutty bonkers. I'll put back two lands, and then I will Prismatic Ending the Shepherd. Oh, they can pick it up with Symbiote. Yeah, okay, that doesn't actually matter. But Cannonist is still a banger. I guess if I hit the Shepherd, yeah, it's fine. Then they can't play Shepherd and Natural Order next turn, and it just buys me another turn. Once I get to six mana, I can recruit plus um, guy immediately. Oh, I don't have a blue card anyway. Yeah, this doesn't matter. <laughs> we did everything I could to up my blue count. Insufficient. Okay. Untap the Dryad Arbor. I can't beat a wall of five fives either. So getting that out of play is fine. Then other sworn canonist get in. Gonna once upon a time in response. Okay. Well, there's Cradle. Let's see if they spend a turn redeploying Shepherd. And they can redeploy Shepherd and activate it right away. Okay. Yeah, that's a line. Fibblethip can chump and then Baleful Strix can block. Strix is gonna block Heritage Druid, I think, and then Fibblethip can block Visionary. Okay, they took the trade. I like that. Ananus actually is hurting me more than helping me right now. I can recruit for Baleful Strix and cast Strix. I think that's the only line here. Recruiter. That my non artifact spell for the turn. I'll play Strix, the blocker. They're holding the natural order. I'm just dead. Yeah, playing Dried Arbor. Okay. Oh, do we have both? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, you're just doing it all. Okay. Very dead here. Why would Symbiote? Oh, we got Progenitus. Interesting. That's not Huff. Huff was just lethal, right? Block here and. And block here also. Oh wait, I want Cannonist to die. Yeah, so I can double spell. Alright, the hoof might be in hand. I don't know what that was. Very. I can Recruiter of the Guard, Charming Prince, get Solitude. Okay, that's the plan. Recruiter of the Guard. Can I remove a Progenitus from play? I don't believe I can. And I'm going to get Solitude. I'm going to play Prince. Flicker Recruiter. And I'm going to Solitude, Pitching to Fairy, get rid of Shepherd. Which I still can't do. Right, right, right. I have to target Symbiote. And this one is going to get... I guess it's time to get the Plague Engineer, though. It doesn't matter. I mean, I can technically block, 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 and be at two. God. Glimpse, glimpse from hand. Here they come. A backup shepherd. The Heritage Druid and the Birchler Ranger are both dead, though. So I'll take that as a W. Symbiote is here. That's going to be good for several more cards. Claimer. Yeah, I don't know how I'm removing this Progenitus. And there's a Birchler Ranger, so the whole hand can be dumped. Guess I have to hope they deck themselves somehow. Just go too hard on the... The glimpse and miscount lethal. I don't know. They made their land drop for the turn already, so I'm not getting cradled here. Could easily get hoofed here, though. With a natural order. Wrist. That's pretty good. Milled collector, oof. Just progenitus attacks. And there's no edict or, like, peacekeeper or anything in the deck. Where's the plowshares? I don't have any creatures big enough to get out of progenitus range here. So they start with Ponder. Magus of the Moon, Baleful Strix. That's a shuffle. Oh. <laughs> uh, that card's sweet, too. Uh, but I don't have red mana and also Progenitus. Okay. Elsor Shepherd. Too powerful. And the combination of Wirewood Symbiote. Just never being able to remove that thing. Huge problems for me. All right. On to the final round. Fighting for our lives in the positive record. I'm on the play in the final round, salvaging the positive record. I'm going to snap keep this hand with two Aether Vials in it. Let's go. Notice we have uh, beat two fair decks and lost a two combo decks. Imagine that. With our deck full of creatures. 
Island Aether Vial, Murfo Yorian Merfolk League. Behold. Opponent said they're a fan of the channel. Shout out, opponent. And they know that Yorian Merfolk could be in my range based on the decks I play. Uh, we're just jamming Thought Seizes. All right. Underground Sea Thought Seizes, some doomsday shit. Let's see if it's true. Taking the Solitude. Okay. This is not doomsday. I guess it could be. Like, if they're going to fight for, like, a incomplete oracle pile. Well, I hope Swords of Plowshares is good, because they just drew another one. They just thought seized one, and I drew another. We'll find out together. I'm getting, like, reanimator vibes. Or something suspicious. Okay. We are reanimating. Or this is, uh... Cephalid Breakfast. That deck's been popular lately. Coming back. They saw the Gilded Drake, so they must have a plan to get a creature in now before Drake starts draking. Ooh, discarded careful study and brainstorm. I don't know what their deck is, but I'm sure that's not what they wanted to discard. Pick up both of these vials. And just ship it. Uh, do we have Entomb now also? It's careful studied our way into Entomb. Boo. But they know about Gilded Drake. They don't know about Swords to Plowshares. There's the Grizz Father. Oh god. Bug Reanimator. Is Uro in the stack? Is this a World Gorger Dragon pivot? What's going on over there? This looks like a Bosch and Roll deck. <laughs> Whatever the fuck's happening over there. Could be up here on this channel. Discarding Brainstorm and Careful Study is pretty terrifying, though. Like, off the Careful Study. Even if it didn't find the monster you were looking for, discarding further enablers? Super messed up. Oh, I wish I could Skyclave this animate dead before in response to the trigger. But that's not how that works. Well, it is how that works. I just don't have Vile on 3 yet. We're a turn early. I'm gonna get Scrubland to have all my colors covered. Grizzlebrand's in play. I think I want to borrow it in response to the first 7 cards. Alright, the first 7 cards have been drawn. Is there a Stifle in the deck? What's going on here? Put in Gilded Drake and borrow. If I get this, like, even for a second and get to draw a bunch of cards, the game becomes very exciting. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna let them draw another 7 and just hang out with this my Grizzle Brand in play. Lotus Petal, okay. There are Force of Wills in my deck, and I can draw up to 14 cards. Well, I can draw 7 or 14 cards. Up to 14 is not quite accurate. I can draw 7 or 14. And I can wait until, like, even if their hand right now is just like a mountain of unmasks and shit. I can wait till they take action, then draw the cards. You know Grizzlebrand is fucked up. <laughs> Breaking news. Okay, I'm gonna let them go to cleanup, and then I'll go to my turn. Figure out what I want to do. I could just plow Gilded Drake and get in for six, which is a lethal amount. Oh, but activate Viling and Skyclave Apparition does the same thing without casting a spell. Okay. I'm in. I could also go for the plow. If it gets disrupted, I can recruit for Dothy Voidwalker, which pops in off Vial on 3, Vial on 2. Surprise. I discarded an Archon of Cruelty and a bunch of lands and cantrips. Both of these are going to go up. I have to imagine that the blue cards are in the deck for a reason. I'll start with a plow, see if it sticks. Like, if I can just win here or draw out a force of will, I'm good. Okay, force pitching days is the play. File in sky cave apparition. Yeah. Just going for it here. Straight for the throat. Bang. Didn't even have to use my grizzle brand. Busy being a 6 7. Thanks, Gilded Drake. Okay. Luckily, this reanimator deck looks a little slower than the last one we played against, and a little more susceptible to Magus of the Moon. Okay, I have the yeses and then the maybes here. They are a blue reanimator deck, so Teferi's a lot more interesting than normal. A Lotus Petal, so Lavinia is live no matter what. Backlave Apparition, normally terrible in this matchup, had two great targets in that one, in Animate Dead and Gilded Drake. Still think it's worth cutting. I feel like Canonist is going to hurt me more than help me. Then Magus of the Moon. In the, I like Magus of the Moon. I'm doing it. 
Got to figure out the last cut. It might be a prince. Just because it's not blue. That looks reasonable to me. Let's go. I mean, the Red Blast could be live here too because they're a blue deck, but I want to see more of what they're doing. All the important cards are black. If there's a game three and they show me some crazy blue shit, the Rebs might come in. Well, it's a one lander, but it's a heater. I'm keeping. They also kept seven. Careful study. I think I want a force of negation that pitching meddling mage. I want to cast ponder on my turn, but flipping this enabler feels like a big deal. Days is annoying. Do I just go butt naked here? And I think so. Or I could just not. All right, butt naked it is. Days is a powerful magic card. Okay. Tavern is not exciting land, but it is a land in a world where I just want a land. Cavern, most, the most common creature type is human. There are many non-humans in the deck, but I'm still just going for human. Shield's currently down. Yikes, I'm in trouble. Archon and Emissary. Scary times we live in. Oh no. It is a human. That's the turn. Please live in fear. Reanimate, okay. Uh, that's gonna hit. Let's see what they name. Protection from creatures. I regret to inform you that I have a very good non-creature card in my hand. Going after Archon now. That's actually really interesting because I have to kill one of these things. I think the Archon is the one I can't actually beat. Though the Emissary is very good. And right, I'm going to get Tundra. I can't stop this thing from showing up. I can kill it now that it's here. Oh, I have a deck full of plows. Yeah, I'm just going to hit the Archon. And I'm going to lose Consume to the, the Emissary. Yeah, I think so. That ship has sailed. This mag is looking real bad. Kind of wanted to shut the door when you're ahead, but it is absolutely heinous when you're behind. I'm going to Charming Prince to Scry 2. Swords to Plowshares. Uh, not it. Bought them both of those. Not gonna lie, I forgot about days on that first careful study, and I probably should have just not played into that. But we're on the play for game three. Lotus Petal, coming off a of Brainstorm, Entomb for another Archon. Yep, I'm ready to concede to any spell here. That one qualifies. All right, we're done. Yep, outmuscled by Reanimator there. That days was really good. I I fell into just like a very easy play pattern of hit the enabler with your force, and I have two, what could go wrong? And the answer is fucking days, just putting me on zero cards immediately. I don't think my sideboard plan changes. I'm going back in. Same deck, but now I'm on the play. That helps versus days. Okay, I'm keeping. I have Force of Will, Aether Vial, and Drake. Let's go. This is the type of hand that you want against this deck. We'll just see how well the deck lines up straight in on Vial first. I'm not playing around days here. Because if I can get Vial up to two, then I'm not even worried about them putting a creature into play because I can just have it. Thoughts, he's pretty good. You want the Drake or the Force? I got two good ones over here. If they take Drake, they can never cast Exhum, which is pretty exciting. Okay, took Ponder. That's clever. That denies me Drake and Force. Not anymore. Had it. Okay. Pass the turn. Finding any blue card there is exciting. The fact that it's a good one. Extra exciting. Oh, wow. Just passing the turn. I have to suspect Entomb here, right? And some sort of counter backup. Cavern on Teferi is not a thing. I will Cavern on Human, though. Or I can Cavern on Drake. No, I have Vial on 3 already. I'm going to Cavern on Human. And I am not going to put Yorian in my hand. Yeah, because that taps me back out into days. Ugh. Wish I could punish that somehow. Brainstorm into Swamp. And passing the turn. Okay. I think I'm going to leave Vial on too. Just keep my Drake up. And now I can play... Jesus. Cavern of Souls sucks so bad. When you're not casting creatures with it. And right, I'm going to get Tundra and cast Teferi here. Who is a human? Come on, come on, 
flavor judge. All right, Teferi's in there. I'm just going to draw nothing. Pick up a card here. Spiking something that comes into play off Vile would be great. Okay. I am ready for next turn. If there is a next turn. And can't entomb in the end step because Teferi's chilling. Yeah, next turn I can Vile, Recruiter, cast Voidwalker. And that should shut the door if I'm ahead at all at that point. Ooh, Collective Brutality. Discarding Archon of... Or Ashen Rider. Archon of Ashen Riding. Uh, this gets to strip the Force of Will, but... Okay. Got the Force. Do you have Lotus Petal to ram in? And even if you do, I have Gilded Drake. But there is a creature in the graveyard now, so Dothy Voidwalker just got a lot worse. Probably still want it, but it did get worse. All right. Vile's up to three. Plus Teferi. A Vile. Put in Recruiter. I can just get Venser here, I guess, and shut it down. Probably want Voidwalker, though. Come on. Warring. If I get Prince, I can flicker Recruiter, but that doesn't get my Voidwalker into play. Voidwalker, which is a Dothy Rogue, by the way. I'll name Rogue. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I have to ferry. <laughs> I hope there's another Rogue in the deck. Probably not. Oh, Yorian should go in hand. I am tapped out anyway. Dang. Yorian a Rogue? Nope. Bird Serpent? Disappointing. Lotus Petal, okay. We have a show and tell juke. Where are we going with this? Exhume. And I have no dead creatures. Bummer. Alright, you get Ashen Rider. What are we exiling? Gotta be Voidwalker, right? The rest of this deck doesn't function with Voidwalker in play. Yeah. I don't want Vile on four. Plus to Fairy. And then one, two, three, four, five. I get to summon Yori in here. And Yorian Flicker's Recruiter, which can get a 3-drop that I can deploy in the end step. Flickering to Fairy does add a loyalty to it, but it also gives them a window to cast Instance, and I am not going to fuck around and find out. I could get Baron here. I don't really care if Ashen Rider attacks. Yeah, I think I do want Baron. Beginning of your end step, damn it. Alright. I can't block Bounce Yorian. I mean, I can. It just... Is a little weird. All right, so I can block Ashen Rider, bounce Yorion, or I could just bounce Ashen Rider, but that seems worse. Or is it the same? Hard to say. I want to fairy in play though. I know I know that is true. Next turn, I could play Gilded Drake, take Ashen Rider, bounce Gilded Drake, draw a card. That seems like the play. Careful study. Okay. That's why I didn't bounce the Ashen Rider right away. It's less scary in play than it is in the graveyard. Grizzlebrand and reanimate in the graveyard. Okay. Animate dead. Okay. Grizzlebrand is arriving. I can bounce it if I want to. I would rather have it with Gilded Drake, though. I'm going to jump with Yorian. In them reanimating Yorian and flickering Ashen Rider is kind of a beating. But... I can Baron and bounce Ashen Rider in response to that. Okay, cool. We're just going to my turn. I am not going to Baron in the end step. I want to take Grizzlebrand, bounce Gilded Drake, and then also take Ashen Rider. That's my turn. Okay, uh, blue and my rogue. Gilded Drake, Teferi will protect me. I will trade with Grizzlebrand. Then activate Vile. Yes, put in Baron. Which bounces Gilded Drake. Which draws me an extra card. I guess I could just draw a zillion cards now and see what happens. Probably way better than all the shit I'm talking about right now. Can attack for one. Plus to fairy. I can Strix again. I can Jailer. But they just showed me show and tell. Which I kind of like Jailer being an out to that. We just go to clean up. Yeah, Grizzlebrand beats the Archon. I'm just gonna... Oh, right, I get to draw one more card here. I'm probably plowing this anyway, so I'll just do that before I have to go to discard. And then drop a bunch of lands. I can draw seven, looking for one of my seven forces if I need to. I can ponder at instant speed. 
if they show and tell, I'll probably just draw seven in response. And if I don't find an answer, I'll put in Palace Jailer. Careful study. Go for it. Another Grizzle Brand hit the graveyard. Put us pedal. Okay. Resolves. Corrupt to Kang to Fairy. Pretty cool. All right. Yeah, it's gone. Massacre. Okay. Uh, that kills two of my creatures. Am I getting tendrils out here? That would be sick. Dismember. F finish off Grizzle Brand. Animate dead. I can draw seven in response. I go to two. I think I want to do that. Let's go. There's lots of good cards in my deck. Including those two swords to plowshares. No force, though. Okay, here's your Grizzle Brand. I haven't seen a Caracas in this entire league so far. That one would be great. All right, they're going to one. Another rip on Grizzle Brand. My Palace Jailer is currently lethal. I can tick Vile up to four, put it in, and crack. So I am dead to a an Archon. I would need to plow my own Grizzle Brand to gain four life and not be dead. They do need to get it in the graveyard and reanimate it for that to matter. They appear to be just passing priority, going to discard. I guess I should have pondered in the end step that Teferi is still happening here. And I could have pondered looking for Force of Will as well. All right. We weren't quite dead there. Put Vile up to four. Yes. Put in the Palace Jailer. And see if we win. All right. We got the concession. <laughs> that was a weird game. Salvaged the positive record. Won two fair matchups in really interesting ways. Lost to two combo decks in really uninteresting ways. And then we beat a combo deck in a pretty interesting way. Gilded Drake showing up strong in the final round. The Extraction Specialist was pretty sick, honestly. Just being a one of, just you can tutor for it and suddenly have four creatures in play by like skipping the prince, like prince, bounce it, get another prince, bounce it, and then get a Strix at the other end, draw another card. Really crazy one card army in a can right here. I think it's really smart to include it. I'm glad it got to perform multiple times in this league because this is kind of the, the new card that we're showing off here. Never got to consume, though I played against three matchups where it would have been good. Just having a sweeper against elves is a big deal. I kind of wish there was a way to get either a second Plague Engineer in the sideboard or something like Phantasmal Image or some clone that you can tutor for so you can have two Plague Engineers in the deck. I think that would be really helpful against the Field of the Dead strategies, though Magus the Moon did go a long way in winning that match. It seems crazy to me that the uh, eight Force of Will, two Meddling Mage, Lavinia, etc. deck still seems soft to combo, but I guess when all your cards are creatures, that's a thing. I, I don't know. Maybe th just that sample size was bad. I'm sure Elves is a bad matchup, though. I'm not sure if Reanimator is supposed to be a bad matchup, but the thing about Reanimator is that its bad matchup floor is pretty high because it can always just shithouse you on turn one with Disruption which is what happened in our game three. I'm not sure about Lavinia. Like, maybe that's better as a third meddling mage. Maybe that's better as another Voidwalker. She just always felt so medium. And even in some combo matchups, she doesn't really do the thing. I don't know. I, I feel like Lavinia is the most questionable slot in the deck out of the cards that I actually got to look at or play with, which I think is most of them. Yeah, I think most of these cards showed up during the, the league. Lavinia is sus, maybe a second Voidwalker, or, or another Meddling Mage. Just cover the combo base some other way than Lavinia. She seems pretty bad. Every other car ser card served its role, and the deck is sweet. If your meta is fair, this is probably a really good choice. And if your meta is unfair, you can probably stack your sideboard a lot harder, depending on what sort of combo you expect. And that's a cool place to be. Francis. Thank you for your work on this deck and asking me to play it. Extraction Specialist was dope. Glad I got to play with that one. Everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.